At this meeting, local leaders from the districts holding refugees raised the number of issues affecting their communities in light of the huge refugee influx to Uganda in the last one year. The refugees mainly comprise women and children. Women, they are normally isolated. When war comes, their counterparts, the male ones, turn to run away. They are included in the army or they run away from responsibilities because they don't earn. State Minister of Local Government Jennifer Namiyangu proposed an amendment in the refugee policy to allow local governments directly engage in refugee issues instead of the Office of the Prime Minister and NGOs. If it means amending the Refugee Act so that my local governments can be key players in this, we have to do this. The moment these local governments say we are no longer in charge of the situation, the country will not be in charge of the situation. Let us not work outside the structures of local governments. Let us build them, let us empower them, let us use them as engines for development and humanitarian assistance because this is why they were put in place. The district leaders from refugee host communities said one of the key challenges their districts face is insecurity since some of the refugees may sneak in with guns. Guru District Chairman Martin Ojarama Penduzi says some South Sudanese refugees have firearms posing a security threat to his community. Gulu alone has about seven generals from South Sudan who have acquired land and port houses. But there are so many army officers scattered living in the areas of Badege, Laibik, different places. There is also fear of the spread of communicable diseases. The Liverpool call is uh, working on an investigation or a study in some of these refugee camps. But primary findings indicate that 60% of the refugees are HIV AIDS. State Minister for Refugees and Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echweru, called for calm amongst the host communities and emphasized that government cannot block refugees fleeing their countries for one reason or another. Oh Lord. What we can only do is to first of all encourage the people, particularly our heads of state and government around the region, to work for durable peace in the region. Local government leaders have a concern that if the donors pull out, then that means that the responsibility of these refugees will entirely be on their side. Ali Mivole, 